Hey, just a quick vid to show you an alternative way to heat water. So you know you got the solar thermal with the coils and everything, but if you want, you can just use a solar panel and a heating element. Anywhere from like 140 to 155, depending on which way I, I aim it. Beautiful. That's awesome. Or if you're in a pinch, even something like this. Fits perfect. One thirty nine, one forty, sweet. All right, so that's cool. Now I'm going to try a full gallon jug. Right, one ten, one eleven. Again, the hookup to the solar panel is just the red to red, black to black, over to the extension cord wire, and straight up to the screws on the end of the element. That's all you got to do. And that's it. It's just that simple. As long as you got the sun and a solar panel, you can get hot water. By the way, if you go with a 300R, I saw some of those. They just have an extra 150 element that kind of wraps around that one, and they'll have the two extra screws. So you can actually run it as a 150R or a 300R with the 300s. And then I think the 600s have two, but they're just fatter. So like each one would be 300, but you get the idea. All right, that's it. One thing to note about cutting the hole, and this is pretty important. These are considered one inch NPT threads, but the one inch hole saw, as you can see, is too small. The perfect size is the one and a quarter inch hole saw. One inch hole saw, way too small. One and a quarter, perfect.